The office of the Prime Minister has given out pieces of iron sheets and grinding machines to families and marginalized groups in Zumbo District, West Nile sub-region. The iron sheets were sourced from the post-war recovery program through the State Minister for Northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Kuyuchwin Freedom. Women groups and families from Zombo District in West Nile sub-region have received iron sheets, grinding machines, and improved seeds, among other inputs from the office of the Prime Minister. <laughs> take this opportunity to deliver the donation is under government intervention aimed at lifting the sub-region out of poverty and grass thatched houses yeah uh, first of all we are grateful to the almighty god for having seen this day. Indeed, we are grateful to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, who in his tour promised the people of Zombo, and indeed today has fulfilled it. It's true we have received consignments of iron sheets. Uh, we have received some of these agricultural inputs, seeds. We have received uh, grinding meals for women groups. So generally we are grateful for the NRM government for keeping the promise. Now this is an assurance that the women groups can improve on their productivity and in that the production of this district will automatically grow. While presiding over the function at Zombo district headquarters, the state minister for northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Creature Freedom, said the program is meant to help families in recovering from poverty. We have given iron sheets to schools, to community schools especially, and to churches. This should help them build their churches with ease, and this is a presidential support. So this should help the communities now to complete their projects very fast. We have also given grinding mills to, to women groups. West Nile is a very rich region, grows a lot of maize, but unfortunately there is very minimal processing. Most of the maize in West Nile is eaten raw and is eaten as, as seed. It is not processed into flour or portion. So this should help the, the women to process the maize so that they can easily take posho or take porridge and improve the nutrition of the children in, in West Nile. But also partly, this is a project which is an income generating project. The Deputy Chief Accounting Officer, Mali Ben Lawrence, expressed his gratitude towards government's efforts to support affirmative action programs. In Zombo, there are very high potential now, especially in the area of agriculture. I have never seen a region as rich as Zombo in terms of agriculture, because here we can grow apples, we can grow Irish, we grow bananas, and the weather as we are seeing is absolutely fine. Now the only thing that we need is what we have witnessed today bringing the people together so that they can work in groups and that what that is what the water minister has been advocating. Well they, they have to now to work in groups and as they work in groups that is when they will improve on their agricultural productivity. So I think what we have witnessed today is really the right, it is in the right direction. The only thing we need now to bring our people together and you will see this district uh, accelerating in development as fast as possible. Kuyu Chwing, 
also promised that more items would be given in the next financial year, 2021-2022. 3,400 iron sheet pieces, 10 grinding machines, and improved seeds was given to selected marginalized groups, churches, mosques, and other organized women groups. Daisy Kajik, West Nile TV, lighting up the region.